can get over that bit. Oh yes, look at that. We got the Endura XHX pins. This is the 1.9 inch versions. They come in two different sizes. These ones are the 122 mil versions. We're going to fit them to some Endura steel beadlock wheels. These are really nice deep dish wheels. I've run these on a few of my rigs, really, really like them. So the tires are using the S5 compound, so they are really, really sticky. You can see if we put them down, like literally, look like how sticky that is. It's crazy, and even just on the desk. You can just hear how sticky they are. They're really nice and soft, uh, really nice tread pattern on these ones. Uh, I have tried them in the 1.3s, uh, and I would say in the 1.3s, uh, this is probably Endura's second best rock tire after the Klingons. These things were absolutely fantastic. So I'm really excited to try them in the 1.9s and see how good they are. You've got that really nice kind of comp pin pattern. Uh, nice little sidewall on these as well. Foams are nice and soft. Uh, you could run them with like their silicone inserts if you didn't want to run foams. Uh, but generally I find the Endura foams quite nice to be honest. It looks like Endura have actually done some new stickers as well. So you always get a little sticker sheet in there. So like I said, I'm going to fit them to these really nice steel beadlock wheels. A really lovely bit of deep dish on these. Okay, so we've got all the tyres fitted up to the wheels. Uh, they are, so you can see how soft they are even on the wheels. I'm gonna to have to change my plan of action because um, I don't think they look, I think they're a little bit silly on the K5 to be honest, because they're so narrow. But also the problem I've got is clearance because the offset of the wheels, you know, I'm gonna really struggle with suspension movement. Uh, so it's gonna kind of defeat the point really of, you know, testing these things out on the rocks if I can't actually like flex and put the tires to the test. So I think we're gonna to have to take them off the K5 Blazer and instead, I think we're going to have to put them on the RC four-wheel drive C2X, which this is a comp rig. Uh, and I love this thing. It's absolutely awesome. But you can see, obviously, we've got way more clearance on the tyres. So let's get the rest of the wheels and tyres fitted up to this rig. And then let's head on out to the rocks and then we can see what these tyres actually perform like. Okay, you might not be able to hear a single word I say because I'm down the beach and the tide's coming in. It's uh, blowing a bit of a gale. But uh, we've got some pretty sweet rocks down here. They got grip for days. loads of grip. Nice bit of squish there as well on the rear. Okay, let's see if we can go nice and slow up here. See what this grip's like on the tyres. Nice. Very nice. Let's see if we can get over these rocks and then up this Climb. Oh, that's a nice there. Uh, you can see that with some squish on those tyres. Oh, this is going to be a test. Oh, look at that. Fair news, they've got grip for days. You can see they're quite squishy, but they got grip for days. See what it's like going up through here. I'm not sure we'll make it up the next little bit because it's quite steep, but. I think, to be honest, we're going to struggle up here mainly because it's a hard body. I think if you had a, an LCG rig here, you'd be all right. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, it's that bit of rock over there. Let's see if we can take a right. Oh, lovely. Let's see if we can get up here. Oh, if I can get over that bit. Oh, yes, look at that. Okay, these tires were really good on the rocks. Let's see what they're like on a bit of trailing. We've got a nice little bank climb there. Should be really tricky, well, just to get up in the first instance, to be honest, but let's see how these things do. Nice, up 
fairly good start, stuck in the rough there. Okay, let's see if we can go a bit slower up the incline just to see how they grip. You can see they're trying to bite every now and again. I mean, normally you need to wheel speed up here unless you've got really good grip tyres, and this is what I'm hoping these things will be like. Yeah, I mean, obviously they're more suited to a rock tyre, but... Oh, we're going to tip. Oh, that was close. We got another little bank climb here as well. This one's one we want to do with the mini crawlers. Let's see if it can get up there. This one's a little less steep. You can see that the, uh, not too bad, but the tread's starting to kind of fill the mud. Yeah, let's see how it does. That's not bad. Now try and go as slow as I can. That is doing really well, to be fair. Well, that was good, that was good. You can see that tread pattern is starting to kind of fill the mud. So obviously the more you do it, you know, the more muddy they're going to get. Uh, that's the other thing you can probably kind of just tell if I move that stone out of the way. They do, these foams are very soft and uh, you can see the, you know, it wants to kind of like collapse the sidewall. I think the sidewall on the foams needs to be a bit firmer because uh, they do have a tendency to kind of fold over you know like if you're when you're kind of turning and you're moving around they are kind of like collapsing let me see if I can show you what I mean so as you start to turn and you kind of go around you can kind of see it kind of there you go it's hard to tell but you know they kind of fold over so the, the side wall isn't isn't firm enough yeah, I'm really impressed with these for like a comp pin style tire these are really really good that s5 compound is super sticky they were amazing on the rocks you know they just ate it up like nobody's business and obviously this is with me running on a hard body as well so obviously it's a bit more top heavy so if you had some kind of like LCG rig or your competition rig or something I think they'd be really good I think they would definitely benefit from some slightly stiffer foams or maybe some like um, silicone inserts or something like that but otherwise you know I'm really impressed with them I think they're really really good I would love to see them do the Klingons in this size as well because the Klingons in my opinion in the 1.3s on the mini crawlers are some of the best tyres I've ran, especially on the rocks. So it'd be awesome to see the Klingons in a 1.9 inch uh, wheel size. Anyway, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Give me a shout if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.